हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वफा स्टडी यूट्यूब झानल दिस इज पार्ट वन जीरो फाइव वन नाट फाइव इन अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री प्ले लिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कैन डी एक्टिवेट एनी एक्टिविटी इन अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री सो वेन यू आर वर्किंग इन डेटा फैक्ट्री यू क्रिएट पाइप लाइन्स एंड इन द पाइप लाइन्स यू विल एड सो मेनी एक्टिविटीज राइट सो समाइम्स यू गेट ए नीड टू डी एक्टिवेट देम एक्चुअली so how to deactivate any activity that is what we are going to discuss in this video let me practically show you this uh, before explaining practically let's see the theoretical explanation here so when to deactivate any activity and uh, how it actually behaves let's try to understand that when you deactivate any activity from a pipeline that means like you are telling to run time don't validate that activity and also don't run that activity during any pipeline execution it can be debug execution it can be pipeline run so whatever may be the execution don't try to validate it don't try to run it consider it as a, like a commented line so if you are writing a code if someone is from developer uh, background usually if some portion of the code if you don't want to run you comment that right same thing it is okay so when you deactivate a activity it's like you are commenting out that particular activity and you are telling to data factory not execute it go ahead with the further steps how this is going to benefit to the developers is when they want to um, test their data flow or uh, data factory executions when they want to test some of the activities they no need to uh, test the before activities uh, they can simply skip them by deactivating them and they can directly test the main concerned activity when i explain this with an example you will make more sense for example if you see here in the screenshot we have a web activity which is commented how i am saying it is commented you can see this symbol whenever you see this symbol it's like a commented activity and you see it's a it's in a gray color okay and what we are doing let's not run this activity and consider this activity as successful so since this activity we are considering as a successful when you run the pipeline it will directly come and run this activity so that way we are testing this activity we are validating this activity we are not running this activity we are directly considering it as a success if you want to test this activity then what you can do you can try to mark this activity as a failure and it make it deactivate that way when you run a pipeline it will directly run this activity and you can test this activity directly okay so let me practically explain you this with some with some dummy activities okay so here let me go to my uh, azure portal in my azure portal i have a data factory so this is my azure portal i have a data factory called adf mahir let me open this data factory let me hit launch studio to open my data factory in new window so this is my data factory let's go to this author menu and here let's try to add a new pipeline and in this pipeline let's assume we have a copy activity which is performing some data copy or data movement from source to destination i am not going to configure any this anything in this activity because i am going to simply show you how to deactivate activity how it actually behaves so let's not worry whether it is what we are filling it here consider this activity does the copy activity that means copying data from source to sync now after this activity maybe i have a activity which will uh, send success email let's assume okay so for now i am using a web activity okay so i don't want to use uh, sorry wait activity in real time i may be using a web activity that will make rest api call to send the email for now i am using wait activity only because i just want to execute and show how it behaves so here let me say like success email okay so on successful execution of the copy activity we should send the success email that is the reason i used this green line when it runs success then this execution should be green right we know that now let's use another wait activity and assume this activity sends a failure email so in real time assume it's a web activity 
so let's say like uh, failure email okay now on this activity failure so that is the reason i should select this red line you can see it says on failure right when we when we hover on the red line it says on failure you can see there okay so now to to test this scenario before this deactivate uh, future was there i have to execute a pipeline which will perform the copy unnecessarily then only i can see whether the success email is coming or not similarly the failure email thing as well so to how to avoid this activity to run i don't want to perform the data movement i just want to test this email mechanism whether it is working fine or not so in such cases you can select this activity and under general tab go scroll down you see there is something called activity state try to mark this as a inactivity and uh, the moment you mark it as a inactivity if you observe it is grayed out and you can say this symbol there okay that means it's a inactive inactive activity or deactivated activity and you can see we are directly marking this activity as a success so that means what we are telling to adf is this is inactivity uh, a deactivated activity so don't run it and consider this activity status as a success since you are considering this activity status as a success the execution will go to here and it may send a email success email thereby i will test my scenario whether success email is coming or not uh, for let me practically execute this and see it will simply skip this activity and execute this wait activity let me debug execution and when i debug executed observe we don't see any validation errors even though we haven't filled anything there the reason is as i said if you deactivate any activity there won't be validation check as well and if you see under the output console the copy activity status is inactive and when you make any activity inactive in the output json you won't see much details you will only see this we marked it as inactive and we marked for the success system to consider it as a success and then if you observe after this execution the success email activity only executed this activity not executed the reason is we are telling to system consider this as a success now i want to test this activity whether the failure email is going or not what i do i will go to this copy activity and here i want to mark this activity as failed so that means system automatically assumes its failure and it will directly come here let me hit this debug execution and show you the results so let's wait for the results to load here you can see here now the failure email activity got executed so this way this deactivation mechanism will actually help you uh, when you are doing the development to test the scenarios to avoid the unnecessary executions the another way of making this activity deactivate is you can even right click and you can consider marking it as a active see the moment i make it active it became blue and again right click deactive so by right click also you can do that or as i said go to general tab and do that and as i said when you make any activity deactive uh, automatically in the output json of that activity you will be seeing only this kind of information what you marked it as and what is the state and a message saying it is inactive okay so let's go back to our presentation so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea how to make an activity deactivate or consider it like a commented code if you are a developer language so hope you got me sense of it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much